Hi everyone, well, we're going to do the long carrot barrels. This is all about long carrots. Now, I've got eight drums of long carrots for exhibition. And as you can see, onto this side here, we've got all the barrels, and this is the emptying process I do. Right? Now, the reason why we empty them is because over the season, with all the water you use, gets compact and and then we've got to cover all the the soil what all the compost from your bore wells out because we don't want a composty mixy sand right and these in these bells and full sharp concrete in sand now on an average one of these battles one ton of sand does your three battles approximately but I'm going to show you through this process what I do now on emptying these long carrot battles. It is hard work and it's a bit of a graft. But however old you am, or however young you am, you just do a bit at a time. If you just want to do one barrel a day, you do one barrel a day. If you want to do two barrels a day, you do two barrels a day. You just take your time and the job soon gets finished. Now I normally like to, this is the job I hate the most. I hate it. But it has to be done. So what I tend to do is leave this near enough till last. And I like to get it done either from January to the maximum is end of February. Because by the time you filled all these barrels back up, you want at least through March for it to settle a good five to six weeks while you keep watering and you know you water is for it to settle you want it to settle down because when you do these boils you don't want them sinking after do you with the carrots right so i'll show you on the process i do now you have to bear with me as you can see we got a I've done the first two, so I could get myself motivated. Now, as you can see there, you got one, two, three, four, and five. Now we have to dig all these out. We have to dig all these out. But the first thing I do, where's my Cora? Here, we've got a little core here. We get this. Oh, I'm going to have to do it one handed because I'm holding the camera. <sighs> Sorry if it's a bit shaky. Right, here it is. There's my hole. So we dibber it. <sighs> Start off. And then we take that core out. That little bit to start off, as you can see there. Can you see? We started it. And as I can see there, we got a bucket. And as you can see in that bucket, it's a uh, composty sand. Well, that's what comes out of the, uh, the borehole. So let me just put you back down. That's what comes out the borehole. Turn you that way. Okay. And what I do, just get the hammer, or you can use a mallet, but I just tap the hammer. And as you can see there, you can see all the composty sand's coming out of that borehole. Well, you don't want that left in in your uh, carrot drums, because as you can see, you see it there. All that old compost, you don't want, you want to try and keep the sand as clean as possible. Like, you want it like that, as clean. I hate saying you're going to get every single bit of compost. I mean, as you can see there, there's, there's some compost in with the sand. But as long as you get the majority, if you leave a bit in, there's nothing to worry about. But as you can see there, that's what I, that's what we're doing. Okay.
Right, so now you can see, I've cored the holes out like I've been explaining. Now we've got to dig the barrel out. I'll just show you a bit of a demonstration on what I do. Obviously, you all know how to do this, but just for the film purposes, this is what we do. Chuck it out. I have two ton bags set up. Now you can put these anywhere. The only thing I will say, when, you, when you've got these ton bags, I mean, for all our battles, I are gonna, it's going to be as easy as this. Um, I'll, I'll stick a ton bag at the bottom of the tunnel, and uh, I'll do so much, I'll dig it out, like that, and put it into a bucket, and I'll, I'll carry the bucket, and then I'll empty it out. It seems a bit of a faff, but there's no other easier option to do it. Or I can set ton bags either side, and then I'll dig it straight out to the bed like I'm showing you now. Straight out and into the tun bag. I mean, when you first start, I'll just put four stakes up to hold the tun bag where the handles are. And then, I mean, I'll say one ton averages to three barrels, but it's always going to get, when you're putting it back up, don't forget when I'm loading them, holding it by a full cliff door, by a hop. And then they fill it up that way, and that's how they can get a ton in. But where we're throwing a ton back into a bag, you don't always you'll get a ton in maybe, but you will get three bowls worth into a ton bag. So as we say, we keep digging them out until all light and done. And then for the bottom, I'll show you what to do when we we get to the bottom. But like I say, take your time. And you'll get it done. I mean, we all like the jobs done now, but unfortunately, it don't work like that. And it is hard work. I mean, it's a cold day, cold day in the Midlands, and uh, nice bit of sun now though. But uh, and then when you're working doing hard graft like this, you soon get a sweat on, and you soon have to start taking layers off. It gets you really warmed up. So you don't fancy it. You think it's going to be really cold. Just uh, do a job like this and you'll soon warm up. Right, so we're digging them out now. And what I tend to do, I'll dig the barrel to say about here. So there's only about a quarter left in the bottom. Then I'll just lift the barrel up and then move it to on the side or outside. And then I'll just scoop the rest of it off straight into the tun bag. I hope this is a, a fairly good an ex explanation. But um, a lot of people do it different ways. I mean, Simon Smith done a cracking talk on parsnips where he'll dig so far and then loosen it up. And um, he does it that way. He says... I asked him if he uh, caused the holes out to take the old compost back out. He says no, he says he ain't so fussed about that. He says it's sandy, composty sandy soil. He says you're going to dig out a new core anyway to put fresh compost in. And uh, he says he's never had a problem. So everybody's different. Everybody does it a different way. They might even have an easier way. But this is just the way I do it. And if there's ever an easier way or anything, I'm all ears. I mean, thank you very much for commenting and subscribing and viewing the channel. I've very appreciated it.
and um, yeah, keep liking and subscribing. I mean, I ain't looking to get anything out of this channel. I'm just doing it just to help somebody, and I suppose it could be a bit of a record for the things I do if I forget or. You know, uh, but it's just mainly to help other people for exhibition. I mean, I haven't got the best setup in the world, but it does for me. It's okay for me. I mean, I always try and improve bits each year because, you know, you always try and improve yourself to do better, don't you? So, and that one improvement can get you a red card. And that's what it's all about, getting them red cards, or blue cards, or yellow cards for second and third place. You know, like I say, I don't aim to win, just aim to get in the top five, or whatever places, like I said, and winning's a bonus. We all like winning, but winning's just a bonus, as I see it, and the enjoyment talking to other growers, meeting new people and getting advice from other growers because you can always learn something even if you already know it you can always learn it because somebody always explains it a different way to yourself and if someone explains it to a way that you don't understand or you, you might understand it better than yourself so you'll say oh how do you put a, how do you bore the hole out and everybody shows you their way and then somebody else shows you their way or how they do it and you think oh that's easier than what i was doing so you can always learn something you always we well, already know but what i tend to do as if anybody explains anything on the Facebook growing groups, you look look at things around the greenhouse, what they got in their picture, and you think to yourself, oh, they got that in. I might try that. And it works to your advantage. But I can I say one thing, everything you see me doing, and you could copy it, and it might not work for you. You might you have to do what works for you. And like they say, they'll fix what I've broken. And I've learned that myself over the years. Sometimes you think, oh, I'll do that. But you've had such good success the way you've done it the first time. The moment you change it, it don't go so well. So, like I say, keep trying, keep learning, and keep growing. All right, I should get on and finish with these. And we'll come back when we're on the next step. Thank you very much. Oh. Right, as you can see now, we've cleared all the barrels off. It took us a bit of time, but we've done it. We've cleared all the barrels off, so I'll just turn you around and I'll show you. Uh, we've cleared all the barrels off now. Right, as you can see, all cleared off. The tunnel's like a bomb's it, but never mind. Right. See, it's all eight barrels done. <clears throat> now these are eight individual spaces. These bed, this bed goes all the way through. The stumps you see, what they sit on, and they're to balance the barrels as much as possible. So I used to put them direct on the sand. Which did work, but they used to sink about two inches. And uh, I was going to do this idea in the first place, but I don't know what deterred me off it. But uh, I put the stumps in, and we've done a lot better this year. But uh, we've just got to get the good carrots like I did again. But uh, like I say, now I'm going to show you what we do. We're going to mix it all up, loosen all the bottom up. Right, I hope you can see this. All right. Right, we're going to loosen all this bottom up now because it's going to be hard you know it goes like concrete believe it or not you know and then what we're going to do once we've 
loosened all this up a bit is to level it out and then flatten it down a bit to make it a bit more <laughs> solid than it already was because we've got to allow for the sinking now you must allow for it to sink because otherwise you put your barrels on you put your barrels on and the sand will sink underneath and then you'll have a big and when you put your when you start when you put your barrel on and you start filling it back up with sand all the sand's going to come out of the sides until it fills that area around it but if you have a good topped up level base it's your battles off there i mean because this is concrete in sand you still have some stones i do like to take these out if i can in case the uh in case it ever falls into the ball hole you know when it's uh when you're doing your carrots I mean, you could, it's one thing you can never stop. You think, oh, they cracking looking tops. But when it comes to pulling the carrot, they can still fork, even though you do all this, because you don't know what's growing underneath. If you could tell what was growing underneath, you'd be quidzing. All right, we mix it all up. Get all the dry stuff. Give it a good mix. All right. And once we go, get it all a good mix. You do all of them, see? You work all the way down, level it out, then on it. Make sure you give it a good mix. That's what we've done there. Oh, I think that's okay. Put on back in, level it out. All right, we're leveling it out now. And I'll uh, get the rake in a second. Level it out. Right, oh, another stone there. Just chuck it up on the floor, clean it up later when we've all done. Right, as you can see now, we've still got to put some in, but now spread it evenly. It seems a faff, but I think it's worth doing and worth taking your time. Because like I always say, if you don't do it right the first time, it costs you twice the second time. So always think on what you're going to do. I mean, I say do it right the first time, it's easy said to do because you always think of something better later on. And believe me, I've done it. And then you've got to go and change it all again and... And sometimes you just think, oh, bloody forget it. But there we go. Right. One second, I'll get me rake. Right. Show you how we tap it down. See how it's sunk when I use that rake then? It's sunk. And then what we do then, I shall get another bucket of sand. Get 
get a mucky to send and then we top it up and we do the same again we use the rake holding it down and we'll do the same for each stage well say station it goes all the way through but as it's solid in between the wood we'll call it a station so each station and then once we've filled it all up and got it all level we'll give it then a good sterilizing and we'll use Demestos I'm sure any bleach will do but Demestos give it a really good soak this one this are the two things one sterilize it because you don't know if there's anything living in the sand that you call see and two it'll help sink the sand right now we've tapped that down we've got about an inch inch of sand to put back on there and i've got some spare sand in the bag and we'll do that for each station tap it down if it needs a bit more we'll put it on tap it down because as soon as i add the water we're going to uh, end up it'll end up sinking more than we want it more than you think but as you can see i've tapped it all down it's pretty firm there now and uh now we've got to get the sand and top it up but once we've done all this <clears throat> it'll get left for maybe a week at least a week hopefully it'll be settled down because i've watered it and watering it a couple of times i'll probably water it every other day give it a good soaking and uh and then after a week i'll see what it's like if it needs a bit more i'll add a bit more but don't forget each bit you add on sterilize it you know so everything's clean and each one will do and uh yeah and then we'll start putting the bottles back on and start filling them back up it seems a big bother and uh a big asshole but it is worth it and it is rewarding at the end of the year as much as i hate this part of the job doing it you know it does get rewarding and the hardest part is just emptying the barrels this is quite the easy bit and filling them back up I don't really mind filling them back up, it's just emptying them. But as we say, we get on, I'll get on with doing this now, is uh, doing like I've just done here. You know, I'll bring you in closer as you see if you can cool, see what I'm doing. Oops, sorry. Now, there you can see that's, you know, a nice, neat bay compared to that one. You know, nice and neat compared to it. You know, and then we'll add the sand tap it down like i've done there until we've come near enough just above that wood just above the wood and then you know like i say once we've done it all give it a good sterilizing give it a good you know week to settle down and see what happens from there and then we'll come back and see how it gets on and then we can start putting the barrels on and start filling the barrels up Right, let's get on and I'll show you when it comes to topping it up. Right, as you can see now, I've topped them all up. All the bays up now. Right. It's all been topped up, hardened down as much as I can. Now it's time to sterilise them. Now, as you can see... one 10 litre can and each one will get 10 litres of water as you can see there i mix mixed one full bottle of Demestus into i don't know what gallon drum they am but if it's a 250 gallon drum that's what i've put it in one bottle of Demestus. right now i'm going to show you how we um how i'm going to sterilize it all right let me just put you there, lower you down a touch. Okay, right. Let me just go and get the can of water. Right. Right, it was one 10 litre tub. 
Ten litre watering can. Give it water on. Nice, as you can see, all the water's running off. But what we'll do, we'll give each one a good soak. But they'll have at least 10 litres each. It's going to run off because I've built it right up. So I'll at least have 10 litres to each square. So they can have a good sterilisation. But you smell the bleach in here. But as I can say now, as you can see, it's even it's just dropped a little bit. I'll just move this camera forward. Sorry if it's shaky. But I don't know if you can see, it's still dropped. It's dropped that lip there. Just a couple of mil. But it will drop down. And you'll be surprised how much sand you'll have to add. So, you, you know, you've got to keep, you know, topping it up and hardening it down. Because when you sit this barrel on, and you put the, the, the sand in, it's going to come out. You will get a bit anyway, because I won't be able to build it up dead, dead right up to the rim. But the sand, when you put it in, will compact. When you start putting it in, it'll make its own little base. And, that's, and then you'll be sorted. But I'm going to sterilise all this now, and uh, I thought I'd show you the parts of sterilisation, and when I'll keep doing that now until it's all really soaked. Like I say, each section will get at least 10 litres of sterilised water, the bleach, the demestus, that's what I like to use. Um, you could use any bleach, I don't know if there's any difference between the bleaches. I just like using Domestus. So, but as you can see there, each one will be done. 10 litres will be in each one. They maybe get more, but they'll be guaranteed at least 10 litres of water. And that's how, we, how far we are at the moment. Then, like I said, we'll let these ones have all soaked. It will let it settle a week. See what we after we've got after a week. If I'm satisfied with it, we'll then start putting the barrels on and then we'll start filling them up and I'll show you that process and that when we get to round to you. Well we're back everyone and um, we got our first drum on and we started filling and uh, I did say we'd come back now this is a week later as like I said we've let the we've let the sand settle and, um, you know, we've let it settle down now. And, uh, you know, as you, as you can see, I've just moved the camera. And we can just see where I've put the extra bit of sand on like there a little bit. You know, because it's dropped it down a tiny touch. But where I've put the extra on, you can see there I've wetted it, I've sterilised it down. Because, like I said, each bit of sand you've got to sterilise. But as you can see now, we've started filling it up. You know, I mean, I hundred, and I've tried to level it up. It's I hundred percent level, but it's there or thereabouts, as you can see. You know, if you can see that. You know, it's about a quarter of an inch down, but we can live with that. And that way, it is near enough level. But we can live with that. I mean. I try to get it to perfection, but I ain't no DIY, and I haven't got the best setup. But it does me, and we do do well out the carrots. So, hope we can see that. Right, we're going to start filling. You know, like I said, we've already started filling it up, and you know, like I said, <laughs> okay, filling it up now until we get to the top. Or, as I've said in previous, you can fill it up halfway and uh, sterilise it. Or you can fill it right to the top and sterilise it that way. It's your preference. I have fussed either way. But, um, as you can see, 
that's how we start doing it and how we start filling but as you can see down here because we've lifted it up a little touch it's starting to make its own ring you can see there it's packing itself in so we don't have to pack it up but uh like i say we're getting there a bit at a time but you know it depends on when your show dates are if your show dates are early you have to um, get your barrels done earlier but on september time and uh you know so we've got plenty of time because i like to get my league trenches done first but uh, then this after because it's a bit of a ball lake but if you do want to grow exhibition carrots to a good standard and then you have to do this work you can grow in pipes you can grow in uh, about six foot long pipes uh, i think it's about four inch diameter the pipe or six inch uh, it depends on what you can get hold of really uh, you call use three inch because the carrots you're getting end up getting stuck at the top but um, about four or six inch pipes, about six foot, five or six foot long. You know, you can either build a rack to hold them in or, you know, place them on something to have them sturdy or put two nails in between to hold them up. You know, you know it's your reference. But uh, I'll do it this way. And we've got eight barrels. And uh, I put five carrots to a barrel. Years ago, many people used to put six in, some people still do. Five, I think five's enough. And, you know, four, a lot of people go for four to give plenty of room. But uh, I think five's nice, just a nice number, you know. But uh, eight barrels, a five barrel, you know, five carrots to about gives me 40 carrots. And that gives me more than enough. For more than a couple of shows I do. And, uh, you know, Malvern's really three shows in one. You know, you've got the National Vegetable Society, you've got the Worcestershire Town Council side, and then you've got the uh, Giant Vegetable Championships. So we enter all, all three, really, even though it's all one show. We enter all three. Only a bit in the Giant Veg, though. As I said, I don't grow a lot of giant vegetables, but it's nice to just uh, have a go, really. Not a lot of people like mixing the two, and not a lot of people like going giant vegetables, because really, it's a quality vegetable gone wrong, <laughs> you know. But it's nice to grow them if you're, if you're interested, you know. It's up to you, really, what you're interested in. Some people are interested in flowers, some people are interested in, you know just veg and some people just do joint veg so it's all your own preference but like i say this is what we have to do to get a decent carrot you know there's, there's a lot of top carrot growers out there and i'm far from one so but we keep having a go each year you only can get better gone yeah <laughs> or get worse so it don't matter really <laughs> as long as you enjoy it that's the main thing but uh, as I say, you know, I'll get on with this now when we get all the barrels finished. And uh, I'll show you once everything's done. But uh, if, if I waited to get the old video finished, it would maybe take a few more weeks. And, and I've only released one video so far, and that was just over two weeks ago. And uh, so some of you will be waiting. When's the next one and things like that. So... You know, this is, you know, I've shown you now and I hope you've picked up through this, you know, this job uh, we've done. And uh, the next one I'll show you how my leeks and onions doing on and see how they're going. And, uh, you know, as I showed you, that in the greenhouse properly, yeah. But uh, I have done a couple of jobs where, you know, over the two weeks, I've uh, built a 250 gram onion bed. The reason I haven't filmed it is I had a... Um, one or two people help me and the dialogue being filmed so i have to respect their wishes and i hope you do too um you know uh, some people 
dialogue being in front of a camera and you know that's basically it i don't think i'd ever but i'm just doing i ain't doing anything to gain any from this i'm just hoping to help some of you and uh as i'm a, a younger person that's growing for showing and hopefully he enticed one or two of you to try it now you'll see my setup over the season and i ain't done it in 12 months you know you know i've been doing it over years so you build your setup as you go you can either do a bit each year uh, or whatever allows you know your budget holds but uh if you do a bit each year and eventually you know in a few years you'll, you'll be up and running just like everybody else but uh, you just do a bit each year i mean now i've cut every i used to show pretty much everything flowers um you name it pretty much every vegetable i've cut it down to a few and really that's what you want to aim for because if you grow everything or you like to grow everything which i do but really you have to just select so many vegetables because you can't give the attention to everything as much as you try you can't and um unless you live on there 24 7 and you still probably wouldn't be giving everything its attention so but like i say you know i will be doing videos on how we go through the season some of the jobs i will be filming like i said and uh you know just one or two people will give us an hand because i'm no diy expert i have to have an hand in that in that part so i'll do the best that i can and just like everybody else i just have a go but you know i hope these you know it's gives you a lot of work you will know who we'll grow for exhibition how to do this anyway so this probably won't irrelevant but uh i hope it's just showed you that you know the effort we have to go to and uh the effort you know you put in they say what you're putting you get out not always i mean you can work hard all year and it still goes down the pan but hopefully you can gain something from this or learn a bit how somebody else does it and see how the carrots come out at the end of the season i mean we're still trying to perfect it so you know we only can get better like i say or get worse so it don't make a difference really it's just as long as you enjoy it and have fun and uh yeah you know i'll do the next video as and when i only can do a video as in i've shown you doing something you know, like I say, I'm holding nothing back, and uh, we'll show you what uh, when we mix and whatever we put in and whatever we do. Some parts, like I said, I was showing you because I respect the person's wishes that don't want to be filmed, but when I'm doing it on my own, I'll still uh, show you. But uh, some jobs are a two person job, so for everything else, I do it myself in growing wise. So, but yeah. And that's the video, really, on emptying and refilling the long carrot bowels. I hope you've got something from it, and uh, we'll see on how we get on. Thank you very much. But like I say, I want to thank the people as well who subscribed and who's viewed the channel and who's liked it and who's commented. You know, it's much appreciated, and if you can, can continue to do that, I'd be much more grateful. But um, if you don't and you just want to watch it, that, that's no problem at all. You know, I, I I do accept good comments, bad comments, you name it, I have fussed. You tell me, and I'll try and answer you as best as possible. I don't know everything. I'll try and help you if I can possibly can. But other than that, if I call find the answer myself, I'll ask around and then give you the answer. Okay, and thank you very much. Cheers.